This is how you do a general store in two weeks. Today I am starting River Bend Resort. I begged her, let me get my hands on this. They said if you can do it in the next couple weeks prior to the campground opening for the spring and summer months, have at it. I'm super excited because this is really right on point with my aesthetic. Americana, it's rustic, cowboy, kind of rock star camping family like oh, so excited um I have two and a half weeks from today I have a bigger budget I have twenty five hundred dollars which for me is you know comparable to like I don't know state lottery again my strategies are going to be thrift swap me flea market barn finds dumpster dive, maybe a couple of antique stores, paint store, possibly the lumber store if I can carve out to do a wood wall with that amount of time. So here we go. However, before I can go thrifting and order some wallpaper, looks like my lovely family has left me a parting gift. Number one was a big no-go. I'm like, hi, are you having a sale? And he goes, yep, it's just the big pieces and the appliances, no small stuff. And I said, oh, okay, I was just looking for vintage camping stuff. And he goes, you're not gonna find that here. Okay, have a good day. Ciao, Bella. I'm totally a little bit Alexis right now because I can't even fit into my car to drive it and I have all these places to go today so seriously like David David so don't mind me David honestly David
pretty excited because I just found a choice of light fixture. $18 with shipping. Had to be under nine inches. Had to be able to be movable in terms of where to hang it. I don't know where the electrical comes in underneath the fluorescent lighting. Had to be hardwired. Maybe not every designer would pick five different types of lighting in a small space, but I think it's kind of fun. I think it gives it like a layered vintage look. Came to $41 with tax in California. Not bad for two light fixtures and arrives in three days. Free shipping. Hi, booyah. I'm all jazzed about my light fixture. And then two seconds later, I get deployment dates for one of our kids. And everything just comes to a screeching halt. You know, being a military parent is no joke. When you stay distracted and you, you stay busy, but it's just, it's just right there. So the minute you're reminded of like, oh, guess what? Then it just sucks. Home. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Home Depot, get some paint. That's not fun. All right. Put on my big girl panties and go get some paint. my drive all the way to a different state to go thrifting who does that who does that I feel like if I don't do it today I'm gonna run out of time in the next two weeks and not only do we need stuff for the general store they need stuff for all these glamping tents which will be 27 tents or 26 tents all together kind of look everywhere that I could look um, in my general area and it's kind of combed over apparently I don't know maybe vintage camping thing is all the rage this is why I drove all the way up and it's multiple buildings Cigar boxes, keys, there's a whole western section, which I am beyond. I'm like, y'all can go into a Lamborghini place and be excited. This, however, is my personal favorite. Okay, I'm out. I'm gonna go get me some Starbucks. And then I'm heading home to start unloading. I only have a couple days left before I'm gonna pack everything up and then bring it to the resort. And my plan is, is that once I'm there, I hunker down and I'm not leaving.
it's freezing, but I'm gonna tell you how to make wallpaper anyway. First, pick an image that you want, and maybe that's something that you've taken on a vacation or of your family or, I don't know, whatever. But if you're gonna pick an image that you didn't take and that you don't have the copyright permission for, then it needs to be prior to 1923, which makes it public domain. The weirdest thing just happened. So, I was thinking about the postcard when I was cooking dinner. Well, eggs and bacon, because whatever, it's six o'clock and nobody has time to cook. Anyhow, and I'm thinking about the copyright laws and how to get around it, and just making sure that the postcard, that the postage is like, not just superimposed on there, but that it is indeed postmarked 1905. And I go to check the date and the date is the exact same day that we are scheduled to start the store. Do, 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 do. It's like an unboxing, like a real YouTube unboxing. Oh, you got. <gasps> River Bend National Park. This is so cute for a general store. You are winning in the world of penance. Not penance, pen nince. Penance. It's not pendants. And it's not penance like church. Penance. P pen penance. It's a, it's a pennant, right? Hi, my mom. Hey, how do you say pennant? Pe pennant, right? A p p pennant. <laughs> like a like a flag. Does you hang like vertically? I just got here. Let me take you inside. Today is first day. Here we go. It says closed. So, um, I am here and it's renovation week. Let me show you what is going on. All of this is going to get moved. We're keeping the shelving, keeping the floor, keeping this light fixture because it's cool and it's like original. Um, but we're pretty much changing everything else. We're gonna keep the counter. But here is the B4. I 
love red, but I hate red. Ooh, right. That looks good. Good morning. So it is the morning of day two. Tons of progress. Today, I'm going to be working on painting the walls and possibly getting up the wood wall. But what I'm most excited about today is going into their barn and seeing what barn finds I can find. Right? Uh, ah, um, this table. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, but look at the black one behind it. Look at the black one behind it. Really good wood stack down here too. Also, one design tip. If you want something to look old and layered and authentic, using different woods is a really good idea. So if I'm gonna do a wood wall in one by tens or one by twelves and it's gonna be pine from, let's say Home Depot, right? New and then stained to look old, then I don't need to carry that same wood throughout the whole project. I can do things like use that little stack of wood that I just found and do like a chair rail on one wall or use it up on that soffit kind of area between the rooms. is that anybody who walks into the office like oh wait you're painting that wall black and then I have to like defend my choice and say well you know actually just wait and see or whatever and then one guy goes well like are you doing a mural on top of it <laughs> I'd tell you but then I'd have to kill you so it's just funny I've I've been defending my paint choice all morning It looks so awesome, I love it. It's Thursday morning. I got so much done yesterday, so much paint, so much stain, so much accomplished. And so today on the agenda is um, wallpaper, going and getting all of the furnishings, taking the stuff out of the barn that I wanna use here. Um, taking anything out of here that I don't want, bringing in the light fixtures. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little knowledge nugget. If you are hanging curtain rods all over a room and you want them all to look uniform, an easy way to do it is take the side of a cardboard box, right, and measure down how far you want that hole to be from the corner of the window frame, right? And then mark it with a hole. And then every time you go around to every window frame, it will be exactly the same. Last curtain rod of the day hang. And then it's wallpaper time.
I'm gonna send myself a Valentine that says, Dear Self, although you are crushing on wallpaper, you are not crushing on wallpapering. Love, Darby. So I have cleared out a space because I want to start bringing everything back in. And so on this side, I have put mostly the stuff that will go in shelves, like general store type items that are supplies. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do all the food. Was it not so worth it? On two hours sleep, no shower, no makeup, and wearing the clothes that I slept in. <laughs> Uh, two weeks, a five day turnover, and here is an after of the general store. Thank you. 